Hi, my name is Matthew with Garmin Product Support, and today I'm going to walk you through a map update on your Garmin automotive device using Garmin Express on a Mac computer. This process may be new to you. However, I know we can successfully complete this together. To complete a map update, you will need your Garmin automotive device, a Garmin USB cable, and a Mac personal home computer. A home high-speed internet connection from a cable or DSL company is also required for this process. Many work or company computers won't allow you to connect external devices. The map update process will not work on a cell phone hotspot or satellite internet. The files are simply too large. You can contact your internet service provider if you aren't sure what type of connection you have. First, we will plug your Garmin Automotive device into the computer. Plug one end of the USB cable directly into the USB port on the computer. We will want to ensure we are not using a hub or any USB ports on a monitor. We do want to plug your Garmin device directly into the computer. Some Mac computers only have USB-C ports, which may require a USB-C cable or an adapter to plug in a Garmin device. Contact Apple Support for additional information on USB-C ports. Next, take the small end of the cable and plug it directly into the port on your Garmin device. We do not want to use any ports that may be on the device's mount. These are only for use in your vehicle and not for updating your maps. Many Garmin automotive devices will display a picture when your device is successfully connected. You can also check to see if the battery icon displays a lightning bolt. Either will indicate your device is receiving power from your computer. Some devices will display a message banner that you must tap to connect to the computer. Touch this message. This message will only show for a few seconds. You can still connect to the computer by touching settings, followed by tap to connect to computer. If your device displays a message asking if you want to enter file transfer mode, select Yes or Continue. This mode will allow the device to communicate with the computer. You may be asked if you want to connect the device to your Mac. Click Allow. Now that you have plugged in your device, we will open your preferred internet browser. We will be using the Safari browser in this video but the process is similar with other browsers. Find the address bar at the top of your browser and type in garmin.com forward slash express. The forward slash key is located next to your shift key. Ensure that the forward slash is placed between the dot com and the word express. Once garmin.com forward slash express is typed, press return on your keyboard. Once you have reached garmin.com forward slash express, Click Download for Mac. This selection will be a blue button at the bottom of your screen. After selecting Download for Mac, you will see the downloaded file in the top right corner of your screen. When it finishes downloading, use your mouse to click the file, which is named Garmin Express.dmg. If you are unable to find the downloaded file, Mac does have a function that will allow you to find your download. Hold down the Option key and Command key on the bottom left of your keyboard. While holding these keys, also press the letter L. This will bring up all of your downloads. Double click on the Garmin Express.dmg file. Select Garmin Express.pkg. Next, click Allow or Continue, followed by Continue. Next, read the license agreement and click Continue. Then, agree to the terms. Click Install. If a password prompt appears while installing Garmin Express, enter your Mac's username and password. This is not a Garmin password. Contact Apple Support if you need help retrieving your Mac password. Then, click Install Software. Next, click Allow or OK. Click Close when the installation completes, followed by Move to Trash. 
you have now successfully found, downloaded, and installed Garmin Express. The rest of the map update process takes place in the easy to use Garmin Express program. The Garmin Express program will give you the option to add a device. Click add a device. If Garmin Express does not recognize your device, try a different USB port on your computer, preferably a USB port on the back of a desktop computer or any other USB port on a laptop. We can also ensure the USB cable's connection is secure. A loose connection to the Mac or your device can indicate a loose or damaged port. Next, we need to ensure your device has some battery charge. If your device's display does not turn on at all, or only shows a battery icon when connected to a computer, we will want to let it sit for about 15 minutes to receive a charge. If the device has not powered on after 15 minutes, hold the power button for 30 seconds. This will turn on your device. Once Garmin Express finds your device, we will need to click Add Device. Once Garmin Express has added your device, if you choose, you can register your device by adding your email address in the box. You will also have the option to receive product news and exclusive offers. Then click Next. You can now add a nickname to your device. This isn't necessary, but can be useful if you have multiple devices. Then click Next. You will then have the option to share your device data with Garmin to improve our products and apps. This is optional and will not impact the usability of your device. Click Yes or No. We have now arrived at the Updates Available page. This is a launching point for adding content to your Garmin device. Your device may have a software update available, a map update available, or both. So, this button may read, update software, update maps, or install all. Each path begins with this selection. One final note, your device may require a software update before installing a new map. In this case, the software update will be installed before returning you to this page, where you will then have the option to update maps. Next, read the terms and conditions before clicking Accept. The update process may take several hours. Don't unplug your device while updates are in progress. Now, after reading these important notes, click Continue. It is possible the software updates will require you to restart your device. This will be indicated by an orange bar before proceeding to any available map updates. This particular device has been updated. It needs to be restarted. To restart your device, disconnect it from the computer and wait five seconds, and then plug it back in. This will restart the device. As a reminder, we always want to pinch the USB cord away from the device without pulling on the cable. This will help to ensure we do not damage the port. Once you plug your device back in, it may take a few minutes for Garmin Express to recognize it before installing your maps. Now there is a possibility your device may not have enough space to install the map update. If you don't have enough space, you will be asked to use a memory card. Insert a compatible microSD memory card into your device now. A 16GB memory card is recommended. The space for the memory card may be on the side, back, or bottom of your device. In any case, the space is just big enough for a microSD card. This screen will let you know the memory card has been properly installed. Click Continue. Now, the map updates will begin downloading. The map update is pretty big, so it may take a few hours to complete. Be sure to keep your device plugged in until Garmin Express shows the updates are complete. Once complete, you can unplug your device from the computer. The update process will be much simpler for you next time since you now have Garmin Express installed on your computer. In the future, you can just open Garmin Express, select your device, 
and Express will search for updates. Feel free to watch this video anytime you need to complete a map update. And please visit Garmin Support Center at support.garmin.com for more videos and articles to help you learn more about your Garmin device. Thanks for watching.